<laughs> my animals drive me crazy. So, backing up a little bit. Last night, not related to my animals, but last night, I don't know if it was a girl at work, or not at work, a girl at church got in my head. Um, it's probably also true, but um, last night, I don't know if it was because I had caffeine or that I had caffeine late, like at like 10 o'clock at night, or if it was just a fluke night or what it was because I haven't had more caffeine than usual. So I don't know if it was caffeine related or not, but she slept, she didn't really take any, hardly any kind of nap yesterday. Like she didn't sleep hardly at all during the day. She slept maybe a couple half hours at a time. Um, when I went to the, the store last night, Gwen uh, slept like the hour or whatever that I was gone and then woke up when she heard me come back. Um, that was the longest she slept, I think, at one go before going to sleep for the night. But she didn't go to sleep for the night until like after 2.30. It was like 2.36 or something the last time I looked at the clock. But <sighs> I could stay up until 2.30, especially since I didn't get out of bed until like 11 something yesterday. Oh, it's a coffee. I was like, what am I hearing in there? That the dog was doing something. Um, I could purposely stay up till 2.30 and be fine. Maybe be a little tired, be fine. But if I'm trying to go to bed at a certain time and I'm still awake for whatever reason, baby related or whatever, at like two hours later, then I'm tired and I'm just done. <laughs> Especially if I've tried to get the baby to eat and stuff for hours. So anyway, that was frustrating. But she finally went to bed at like 2.30. I woke up, I think she was kind of making noises or fussing a little bit around 3. And I was thinking, oh, it's only been a half hour. You can't be done sleeping already. Uh, but then she didn't stay awake. And then we woke up. I woke up to her fussing. Or maybe I just woke up and then she started fussing. I don't remember. But around 8 something. So I went ahead and got up. But she did sleep like 6 hours again from like 2.30 until... Like 8.30, so that was exciting. Um, but yes, I wanted to tell you about that. But my animals drive me crazy because um, we've been having our cats when they're not out. Because I think I told you that they're able to be out kind of now, except that we still have the clothes downstairs. So we're, so we're still keeping their food and trying to keep their poop in that second room because the clothes are in the first room in the basement. Um, so they're either up here and stuck up here or they're stuck in the second room down there. They can't really go between, um, so the clothes, because the clothes are down there. Uh, well last night, um, kind of yesterday afternoon for Charlie, but last night for Peppy, I put them in the second room, long story short, and, uh, kind of put the, uh, we have a door down there and we put a uh, pretty much full thing of cat uh, litter oh, in front of the door so they can't open the door and get into that first room. Um, the door doesn't latch or anything. It doesn't really even close all the way. It's like too big for the doorway or something. But anyway, um, I came down here this morning and was feeding Gwen, like breastfeeding Gwen, and I uh, thought I heard like the door, like the cat door. I don't know if you can see it cat door down there. I heard um, sound like they were hitting it because it's locked. Um, so when they're up here they can't go down there. It's locked. Uh, the cat door is. And so I thought I heard them pulling at the cat door, which we haven't had them like to where they can do that from the inside for a while. Um, but I kind of thought I recognized the sound. I thought it was either that or the dog making some kind of noise. Um, but I didn't do anything about it right away. And then I came in here to get some coffee after I finished feeding Gwen. And they were meowing at the door. So I was, I was like, oh, man. I don't know how long, but they've been in that, been able to get in that first room for a while. And that was super frustrating. So hopefully they didn't poop or pee on the clothes. Although all the clothes down there and everything down there has to get washed again anyway. But I don't want it sitting in pee. Stained and it's just... I don't want to deal with that. But anyway, I put them, I went down and put them both in that second room and made sure that the cat litter was completely against the door because I don't think, I think I just had like the edge of the cat litter thing and they were able to kind of like scoot it open. 
So that's one thing. That's the cats. I don't know if they made a mess or anything. I didn't really stay down there long enough to look. I just put them in the second room. And then I came up here. And I don't know if you can see from here. I'll zoom in a little bit. Ugh, it's being dumb stuff. Okay. There's a little blue. Where's my finger? There's a little uh, gray thing. They're like brownish thing there. And a couple brown things back there. Zoom back out. Um. The one up front by the water, um, well, first of all, I thought from here, I was like thinking, did she poop in there? Cause like since she's come back here from being at Brett's dad's house, she hasn't pooped in her cage, which is great. And like she's been in there all day, a day or two, unfortunately, and hasn't pooped in her cage. Um, so she's done really great because she's kind of learned that she'll go, be able to get go outside and poop and not talk um and so i love you popo i'm not mad at you right this second <laughs> but anyway she hasn't been pooping in her cage and i was like did you seriously poop in your cage so i went over there no she didn't poop in her cage which is good but the front part the front blob is I'm pretty sure, I don't want to like pick it up and stuff, but from looking at it up close, and we have a few uh, balls that have made it over here from, I don't know, from the neighbor's house trying to throw it for their dog or how it made it over here, but there's like three or four tennis balls that somehow made it over to our, over, move it, made it over to our yard and we don't have tennis balls. So anyway, that's fine. And they haven't come back for them and if they did, that's fine too. But anyway, I think that that is a tennis ball that she chewed up and ate. I thought I saw something back there like a cat. <laughs> Just like the cat in the basement. Anyway, I think that's pieces of a tennis ball that she chewed up and ate. And then obviously threw up because you're not supposed to eat tennis balls. Um, and then the two spots in the back are just like liquidy throw up stuff. So I won't show you up close, but really? <laughs> really? And she's sitting over there looking really sad. Zena, I love you. I wish you wouldn't eat things that aren't supposed to be eaten. The most frustrating part is that I'm probably going to have to take it outside and spray it. And it's cold outside and I don't want to be outside, especially with water. And But I'm going to have some coffee. It's done, I think, now. And maybe get some breakfast. And if Gwen is still hungry, I'll feed her because... I don't think she got much when I fed her this morning, but I pumped before that, and I have three ounces that I can give her right now. So, 